Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to export Figma variables and then using AI, create a custom design system or a design theme. And then basically you can use that theme to create different types of prototypes, different types of screens, different types of flows. This workflow is basically meant to save you time because instead of having to manually, you know, set up those different designs, you can just use AI to do so. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before we dive into today's topic, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord community where a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all over the world, and we get together every single weekday to talk about different tools, different topics, different challenges. So if you guys are interested in joining, link is down in the description below. So this is the design system that we're looking at. These are the different variables. We have different fonts. As you can see, instrument serif is my heading typeface and instrument sans is my body typeface. We have our color schemes. We have over here our different buttons. And I do have a bunch of components that are already ready for me to use. So big shout out to Reloom for making this happen. I actually created a project in Reloom like this. Um, by the way, I'm gonna have the link to Reloom in the, in the description below, but I shuffled these colors. I got this color. I liked this specific font. I've used it in the past before. Also this one for the body. And you can kind of play around over here to see how these different things match. I really like this design, it looks very clean. And then basically what I did is I clicked on export and you open this Figma kit inside of Figma. And then once you do that, you basically go down here to your plugins, click on Reloom, and then you import that project over here. And now you get all of these different sections with your typography, with your color style applied to it. As you can see, these are all the different pricing sections over here. And this is obviously very nice to have, but imagine having the same theme and bring it into an AI tool that can automatically figure out the different sections that you need based on the prompt that you provide it with. So for example, if you're trying to build a landing page, if you're trying to rebuild a specific feed from your app and you have these variables inside of Figma, you can just export them and I'll bring them into this new AI tool that I'm gonna show you and do that there. So now once you're ready with your design theme, all you have to do is open your variables over here. You can click on this, this little button over here on the right side. And then you just hover over primitives and you right click and you click on export modes. And that's basically going to download a zip file to your finder and you just wanna unzip that file. And then the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to magicpath.ai and up here where it says themes in a new file, here's where you want to import a design system, right? So you wanna click on import and over here it says import CSS theme and it's gonna give you a link. You wanna click on this link and open it up. And this is basically a doc about Shad CN theming. And then you just wanna go into ChatGPT and say, turn the variables of this file to match the styling of the, this theming. And you just paste in that link. And then what you're gonna get is a file, you know, it's gonna, it's basically a, you know, set of code that you can just copy like this. And then you just want to paste it in here click on apply and boom. And as you can see, all of the colors are there. The typography is there as well. And sometimes you don't really see the preview over here, specifically when it comes to typography. So you just want to say it over here in the rules, always use instrument serif as the header text and instrument sans as the body text. You wanna click on save. And then we can name this theme. We can call it, you know, variables tutorial. And then this is where the fun starts, right? You can double click somewhere over here to open up a new component. And down over here, we can, say, we can select variables tutorial, which is our theme that we just imported. And I'm gonna select the Gemini 3 Pro model over here. Now this is like the slowest model inside of Magic Path, but it provides the best design output in my opinion. And then we can create something as simple as a sign-in card, a sign-in card that includes Google sign-in and GitHub sign-in, for example. Boom, we, we submit that. And then over here on the right side, since it's an infinite canvas, just like Figma, you can start creating more things. We can even create editorial style websites for a specific SaaS company. Click on submit. We can also use the sketch tool over here in the bottom to sketch out a specific section. So in this case, it can be like a hero section. I can draw different shapes. As you can see, I drew like, you know, a rectangle over here and a little rectangle behind it, four rectangles over here, a few circles over here. So you can get a little bit wild and creative. And then all you have to do is just select everything, click on make it real. And then with the theme applied and with Gemini 3 Pro applied because you want the quality, quality to be good. So in this case, a hero section for a SaaS that does data visualization for neuroscience startups. 
And as you can see, our initial designs start to be finished. So we get the sign in, we get the password, and I can just click on the password, for example. And as you can see, that's an actual interactive app. It's not like Figma where it's just static and it's just design, it's just shapes, SVGs. These are this is real code. Same with the landing page. I can go over here and just scroll down and you see all these different sections over here, exactly how we wrote it in the chat. And then even for a sketch, boom, as you can see, going from sketch using our custom design theme from Relume that we got earlier, we get a nice design like this. And you can use the edit tool to edit a few things. So for example, if we don't want these floating things, we can just delete this like this, click on delete over here. If we wanted these to have like a white background, well, they do already, but if we wanted the original state to have a white background, you can go ahead and make sure that it's white. And then when you're done, you wanna click on save. Maybe we wanna make this white as well. Click on save and boom, we have such a beautiful design. Look at this. Decide with neural precision. So pre precision. So this is our uh, advanced data visualization tool for neuroscience startups. So it even gets a, the copyright. And look at this. Once we're done, we get a nice design like this. Really creative hero section that we can combine with our other designs. And again, since this is code, we can get this and we can export the code. We can open it directly inside of cursor. So if I click on open in cursor, we get this command that we can copy to our terminal. And when I open my terminal, I'm just going to paste that command in there. And we're going to name this to neuroscience project and i'm going to open it inside of cursor and we have our project so i can just click on this and uh, write yarn dev to run the project in our local host and i'm just going to open it in cursor browser and as you can see boom we get our design inside of cursor so yeah guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any questions or comments or anything please let me know down in the comments below and yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video hope to see you next time goodbye